Hello and welcome to Heartside Pass, one of the UK's most well-known driving roads. We're having a feature car video today, uh, but it's not like one we have done before. Today's car is quite special. So, this is Mike and his Sleeker GT4. This is quite obviously a race car. Hi Mike, welcome and You're thank right you for joining us today. Well, thanks um, for having us mate, appreciate so, it. Your Sleeker is a bit of a, a double-edged sword because obviously you race to win, mm -hmm. but then also you have built this car to raise a lot of awareness for military charities, haven't you? I have, yeah. I uh, spent six years in the British Army as an ammunition technician, uh, so we did a mixture of duties, um, but in particular these charities are quite close to the trade, but they also help out other guys within the military as well. Fantastic. So talk us through them. So there is a couple of these charities, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, so the main one, obviously, linking back to my trade, is yep. the Felix Fund. So they're the bomb disposal charity. They do a lot of work with guys from the engineers plus ATs and other ancillary trades who worked with us. Um, they do a lot for guys who've got life-changing injuries or PTSD, combination of things. Fantastic. Um, and they link in with the other charities as well. Brilliant. So then, leaning more towards the car, which is obviously what we're here for today. Mm -hmm. So it's a Sleeker GT4. It is. It's not standard, is it? No. So no, definitely talk us not. through roughly what you've had done and what you've built. So originally these were a two litre three SGT engine. Yes. Uh, that's what Toyota developed for WRC. So it was the Rev3 on the 205s. Uh, this now is a 2.25 SGT. Fantastic. Uh, so it was an engine that Toyota did start developing and then they just stopped once the infamous turbo cheat happened. Cheating, yeah. Um, but yeah, so with this, um, it's a combination. So it's the bottom end from a Camry, uh, 98 onwards from memory. That's where you got the square block. And also internally, so, oh, where do we begin with that? So we've got DP forged rods and pistons. Uh, the crank's been balanced with the clutch, so there's no harmonic resonance. Fantastic. Uh, we've gone for ferrier racing valves. We've gone for shimless as well to stop any valve lift, particularly yep. with the higher boost. Um, 1200 injectors on it currently, although we're looking at going to 1650s because we're hitting injector duty More limits. power, baby. <laughs> it's got to be done. And Pulsar are very kindly sponsored the project as well. So I've got a, a GTX, GTX 84 um, RS on it. So that's yeah, good size turbo, 84mm. Yeah. And that's what's taking it to the 600 horsepower mark and above. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And with these turbos, I mean, you can get huge amounts of boost out of them. Oh, yeah. Um, so at the minute, as I said, we're running about 1.5 bar. Yeah. Uh, but by the later end, once we get the bigger injectors in, we'll be pushing 2 bar plus. Fantastic. Definitely. And what sort of yeah. power do you reckon you'll get with that? Uh, well, we're hoping for touching the sevens. Yeah, that and that'll be on a safe seven. map, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, even at that point, we're not pushing the engine to 100%. Yeah. 
Uh, it'll be about 80 to 90 percent, so it gives it a little bit of leeway, so it's not not risking blowing the engine to of pieces. Course. I think that'll make it uh, competitive, to say the least. <laughs> that, that is the plan. Yeah. That is the plan. So, as well as the engine and the outside, you've also obviously got a lot of the race aspects in the interior. So, talk us through your cabin as well. Uh, so, yeah, so particularly for motorsport, a lot of it. Uh, so, we've gone for a six point harness system, um, which again, for most UK events, you only need a four point, but Fantastic. again, went, went bigger. Uh, also, SW Motorsport very kindly have designed this cage for me. So, this is the first one as far as I'm aware. Uh, so they fully scanned the interior and had it done within 48 hours. Uh, also got the fire extinguisher and a few other bits and pieces. It is still a road car for the time being, but in time this will all come out and we'll have a full rally style dash in it as well. Perfect so. stuff. And then obviously yeah. the obligatory boost gauges. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so we've got, got all the usuals, but in time this all this will be coming out and we'll have a link heads up display as well in here as well. So that will give me all the readouts I need of oil pressure, intake, Fantastic, everything you need. So, Mission Motorsport is your supposed dominant charity, but also the team that you drive for, essentially, isn't it? Yeah, uh, so very kindly, uh, James Cameron, who runs Mission Motorsport, he, uh, he invited me to join him and support Fantastic. him. Uh, so I did an event with him last year at Three Sisters. Yes. Uh, so a lot of that, we were giving passenger rides to veterans, uh, people with life-changing injuries and the like. Uh, but they also do a lot more than that as well, so they'll help veterans get into motorsport, but also Fantastic. working within the sector. So working at Jaguar Land Rover, Toyota and so on, Brilliant. and also apprenticeships. Uh, but yeah, I, so I work as an ambassador for them, uh, so promoting them at uh, events and competitions and the like. Yeah. Uh, but I'll also be going and attending the passenger rides as well and Fantastic. also this year I'll be doing the Race of Remembrance Yes. Uh, in November so that's like an endurance race as well Brilliant. so yeah. That's a lot of fantastic work. Yeah. You're racing in the British UK time attack but we've now evolved on to the EU time attack haven't we? Yeah that's correct. So, so. Talk us through your race calendar for the rest of this year then. So I've already done one event, um, did uh, Retro Toyota Day yep. uh, with Parks Motor Group up at Carlisle, uh, she won Best Salika which Fantastic. I was very happy well with. deserved. Well, thank you. Um, and then next month, so the 28th and 29th, I'll be racing at Assen over in Holland doing the European Time Attack Fantastic. Championship. Uh, then after that, uh, oh, trying to remember now. June the 3rd, I'll be at uh, Coventry Motor Fest. Yep. Uh, so that's a time trial through Coventry City Centre. That'll shut be the whole... good fun, won't it? Yeah, it's something different. Yeah, brilliant. I think it's the only time you could get a speed ticket, but it doesn't count. So it'll, it'll be pretty good. Maybe now. we should all rock up there. <laughs> Uh, then the weekend after that, June the 10th, I'll be at Barb and Hill Climb. So of course, another yes, local... I think we shall be trying to get along to that to have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be great. Um, so that's another local one. Uh, then having a breather through July, so giving the car a health check with yep. all the pushing it hard. And then in August, I'll be doing Quick 60, uh, which is with Hill Climb Monsters. You might have heard yes, of that. Yes, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, so I'll be at that event again. Uh, obviously, this time the engine's a bit more set up with yes. mapping. So hopefully should do do pretty good. Of course. Uh, then September, I haven't penciled anything in, but I'm looking at doing some work with Mission Motorsport. Yes. And passenger rides to veterans. Fantastic. Uh, and then in October, I'll be doing the Nürburgring European GP Time Attack circuit, again. Yes. With yeah. the GP circuit, Fantastic. which I believe you lads have. Oh yes, done. we've had uh, we've had some pretty good experiences on that GP circuit. <laughs> so no, that should be a really good crack for you. Yeah. yeah it sounds no, fantastic. Um, it's a gorgeous car. And it now has Leadfoot TV branding on it. <laughs> because uh, we, we wanted to do this video, of course, to show off Mike's car, but also we're very, very on board with the charity promotion that Mike does. So we want to do that and we want to help out as best we can. So Mike has very kindly been the first car to feature our Leadfoot TV windscreen banner. So thank you very much for that. Anytime, anytime. We are, of course, at a driving road. We have a race car. Let's go drive it. Sounds good to me. Oh, it's a wedding shoot, isn't that?
very much in the development process then. We're, we're both learning, Martin's, don't get me wrong, he's built a lot of very high performance engines. Yes. Um, but not to this level. Not, if not you to that me. extent, yeah. Like, well, literally, time attack spec. Yes. Because um, in essence, it, it's a sprint car, it's not really built for endurance. No, so. no, it's, it's for very aggressive for a short amount of time and then let it cool down and then, yeah. Yeah, this is this is a fantastic car. I am I'm envious. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, we've had to stop to talk because it's too loud when it's on the go, and it sounds fantastic. As hopefully you can hear through through the microphones. But uh, yeah, you don't need a stereo when it does that noise, do you? No, definitely not. Yeah. Music to your ears. Oh yeah. But sure. now I said uh, all credit to Martin Kingston and Scott yeah. Anderson at MK Autos. The, the, they've, I mean, they've been specialising in GT4s for. Yeah. Years, donkey's years, yeah. well known in the community. Um, they do all the mapping as well. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Martin and Scott do the mapping. Um, but yeah, uh, been out many a time. We uh, we do live map it on the road. Yes, uh, I think it's more representative. Uh, we will look at doing a, a dyno at some point with it. Yeah, get a definitive um, figure. But I yeah. suppose as long as it drives how you want it to drive, it doesn't really matter too much, does yeah. it? No, exactly. Because it's, it's uh, not about the number at the end of the day. No, it's. But you know, as you saw and felt on the drive down mm. it just grips and pulls into the is, corners brilliantly. Which again a lot of the time is more important than having all yeah. the power in the world isn't it? Yeah. And it's a testament to those guys that they built it you know and it said you know a huge thank you to all the sponsors involved so far and Definitely. we've still got more to go. Yeah. You know, it's We haven't even hit the limit yet we've yeah. still got plenty of work we can do. We'll have to, we'll have to do an update video once it's yeah, finished. No, no, the definitely. thing is though they're never finished are they? No. <laughs> never no. finished. It is the curse of once you once you get into it, you can't stop tinkering. Absolutely. Like, so. No, it's brilliant. brilliant Definitely. Shall we head back up the hill then? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay, so that was Mike Salika, and what a beast, what a wicked car. Thank you very much for showing us that, Mike. Anytime, and anytime. Uh, thank you again for talking to us about the charities. That is, no. it's some really good work. No and um, we'll, we'll be sure to put some more information up about those charities and what they are and what they do. Appreciate but it. Uh, we hope you all enjoyed seeing Mike's car, and uh, we will see you on the next video.